it seemed like another impossible feat. Facing the number two seed at the U.S. Open, Arena Sabalenka, Leila Fernandez overcame the odds again. And the Leila Fernandez fairy tale continues. In one stunning week in New York, the Quebec team beat three of tennis's top stars, and now a fourth. I don't know how I got the last point in, but I'm glad it was, and I'm glad that I'm in the finals. The thrilling ride continues for her growing army of fans, including Filipino Canadians, bursting with pride for that rising star with roots in the Philippines and Ecuador. Bring it on and cheer more for Lila. Go Lila. <laughs> Go Lila. Entering the tournament unseated, she's become a sensation, stopped for selfies and getting plenty of attention south of the border. U.S. tennis pro Sloane Stevens has been cheering her on, with legend Billie Jean King telling Fernandez, dream big and keep going for it. For basketball great Magic Johnson, she's been the most exciting player at the U.S. Open. When she was 10 years old, she had the same drive, she has the same love of the game. In Fernandez, Tennis Canada's Severine Tamborero always saw a star in the making a young player willing to put in longer hours and work harder. It was to go train with her dad and her sister. It was to really do things beyond uh, what all the normal kids are doing. And what a week for Canada, with Montreal's Félix Auger Aliassime one win away from the U.S. Open final for the first time ever. And then there's Fernandez's opponent in the final. Britain's Emma Raducanu was born in Toronto. It's like a bolt of lightning that, that no one saw coming. As for Fernandez, it's off to the championship match on Saturday. An unthinkable accomplishment just days ago, and there could be more to come. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.